Pythagoras. I knew Pythagoras had his theorem, but who knew he had a secret society? I think the clue might be in your question. Actually, the existence of semicircle is no secret, my friends, but our mathematics is. Welcome, underlings. I am Pythagoras of Samos, but you will refer to me as number one. Our mission is to investigate the covert world of maths. Our prime directive, rule one, never reveal the secrets to the governments of the world. Rule two, no meat. That's no problem. I'm vegetarian anyway, but I do eat fish and chicken. Shh. And owls. Ah! Now it is time to reveal my most impressive mathematical discovery. Something nobody has seen before. This, my friends, is a right-angled triangle. Prepare yourselves. The square of the length of this side plus the square of the length of this side equals the square of the length of this hypotenuse side. With this information, we will take over the world. Excuse me. Yes. What is it? Well, sir, uh, we've known about the properties of right-angled triangles in Babylon for years. I mean, centuries, actually. Be quiet. I let you live only because I stole lots of ideas from Babylon. I mean, I went there when I was young and taught loads of things to your wise men. Yes. Actually, it's nothing new to us Egyptians neither. We used them to build the pyramids way back. We had these rope stretchers. One side was three units long, another four, and the hypotenuse thing was five units. Makes a nice square corner. What seat are you in? Forty-nine. Ah! Oh no, uh, it's 48. Ah! This is all irrelevant. These things were known only by trial and error. But now I have the proof. I have worked this out all by myself. Actually, sir, it was uh, Dave in the technical department that... Ah! Fine. So there is no evidence that I came up with this theory. It could have been any one of my followers, but I say it was me. Anyone want to argue with that? Here is the geometrical proof. We see that the squares from these two sides fit exactly into the square on this side. Isn't it beautiful? Even more than the fractions I showed you last week. Clap now. Uh, excuse me, number one. What is it, Hapassus? I just noticed, sir, that if the two shorter sides were one unit each, that would mean the square of the hypotenuse was two. So, to get the length, we'd take the square root of two. But there's no fraction that can represent that number. It's, it's like a number between the fractions. It's, it's irrational. Irrational numbers? There's no such thing! But it just proved there was. <laughs> now, for our new operatives. Here are some other things I have discovered without the help of any of my followers. Isn't that right, everyone? Yes, yes number, number one. one. Some numbers are odd, and some are even. Even numbers can be divided by two with no remainder. Odds can't. Some numbers are triangular, some are square, some numbers I call perfect, like ten, the sum of the first four integers, one plus two plus three plus four, ten, perfect, like me. <laughs> and finally, some numbers are male and some are female, and mean things like creation, the universe, and retribution. Um, excuse me. What is it? I don't think that last bit was right. Numbers aren't male or female. It's not like they're alive. You are wrong! Numbers have personalities! This guy's potty. I. you should never meet your heroes. And what is your seat number? Twelve. <laughs> Sorry, did a bit of rewiring. Oh, come on, Alan, let's get out of here. I know some of his ideas were bonkers and his stuff about triangles wasn't completely new. But he did prove his theorem worked for all right-angled triangles. The Greeks were all about proof. Oh, if you like him so much, why don't you stay? No, I couldn't be vegetarian.